<clears throat> What's up guys, Joey Salads. Welcome to a seasonal making drinks video. I've done two of these already where I've made drinks that you guys have suggested, but this time we've got a theme. We've got a fall seasonal Halloween type beat. I've already been drinking before this video because I was recording for another video where I was using shotgun tools. That'll also be on the second channel, Ms. The G-Dubs, the thing you're hopefully watching right now. Check out the merch. I don't even know if it's live when you're watching this fucking video because it's a limited time. I've said that in viz.tv slash Chapter one is the hottest, softest merch in the game. I'm even rocking the fucking joggers and no lie, best joggers I've ever worn in my life. I know everybody says that about their merch. They fucking lie. I would never do such a thing. This is the nicest pair of joggers I own. Anywho, um, you probably still see stains from the fucking high noon I was shotgunning on my shirt, honestly. But uh, let's just get started. Now, disclaimer, this is very, very important. My last two videos where I made drinks have ended in controversy. And by that I mean, I've made mistakes while making drinks. I've made drinks in the wrong way. I've disrespected some of your recipes. I've forgotten many ingredients. It's been a tough ride, you know, I like making drinks. I think it's a lot of fun. Now I don't think it's nice that you guys pick on me for, <laughs> for not knowing what the fuck I'm doing half the time. The same will occur this video, I promise nothing. You see all this shit? I'm probably still missing what the fuck you want. Somehow. Somehow every time I go to the liquor depot, I spend hundreds of dollars and still come over here like, I'm not using any of it. So don't be surprised by shit this video. I'm putting my foot down on this one. Duh, with the joggers. Let's start making some drinks, huh? I'm not even gonna fucking read the ones that I don't have because there's no point. Because I did that last video, and that was basically the whole video. Me being like, oh, sorry, I don't have that. Eat a dick. So I'm gonna read through this real quick. Oh, I totally have this. Let me just go, let me just go grab a Sprite. One sec. I don't know how far this mic goes. I think it reaches to my little uh, kitchenette over here. All right, we still live? All right, cool, just checking. Creep suggested. I'm a big fan of Bite of the Iguana. I don't even know if that's seasonal theme, but I'm not gonna argue semantics with you guys on this one. If you gave me a recipe and I have the ingredients, you best believe I'm making that fucking drink. Let's do that. We're gonna start off with some ice, I fucking assume. Fun fact, for those of you that saw the Instagram video or Instagram products video I made on the main channel, I have a bag of ice sitting on that carpet I bought that's moist resistant and it's flipped to the moist resistant side. So if ice starts to melt and leaks, it's not gonna leak. You know why? Cause the fucking carpet's moist resistant. Absolutely fucking seep into the bottom. Get your shit together. That was supposed to go towards you. Uh, okay, one and three quarters of orange juice. Uh, yes. That's pineapple. This is orange. We're on a fucking roll, baby. Let's do this. One and three quarters. I wanna make sure I have the measurements correct because you guys care about that type of shit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little too hostile to begin with. If, am, I, am I off putting at this point? We're cool. Appreciate you guys stopping by and watching the video. I usually get hostile near the end of the video. So let me save it till then. Okay, so that's a half ounce right there. Meaning, meaning what? No, this is a half ounce. Oh my God, am I drunk already? No shot. Oh, this is two ounces. Sorry, I, I haven't I haven't used the jigger in a minute. One and three quarters of orange juice. Let's do that. Oh yeah, look at that drippage, baby. I should have brought that little mat that I have. Did I go grab that before I destroy this table any more than I already have? I should probably do that actually. Oh, wait, I think I threw those out. Well, fuck me. I'm like 20% positive I threw them out, which is not a convincing percentage. We interrupt your really cool YouTube video to tell you that I threw them away. Oh, come Sorry. On. So we're just gonna fuck up this table, baby. All right, put on the orange juice. One and three quarters of sweet and sour mix, which I also got over here. It's funny, when I was purchasing all this at the liquor depot, there was an old man scanning some of my stuff. He was like talking to me, but not when he said this, because he kind of said it under his breath, but like not. He was like, looks like you're restocking a bar. He said it soft enough, so I might have, I, I might as well have not heard it. Cause I had headphones in too. One headphone in, I wasn't being disrespectful. I giggled, cause it was funny. This is pretty fucking insane to just have in your cart on a Wednesday. Ah! One ounce of tequila. We're doing something, we're going somewhere. We're gonna use some tapatio, always recommended by the great Lucas Assis from TikTok. I always big him up for these. 
Let's try tapatio tequila. Putting me on the good shit. We're gonna put an ounce of tequila. Half ounce of vodka. What the fuck is this? I read the ingredients, but I didn't like read the ingredients when I was doing this. What the fuck is this? I believe I have some almost finished Tito's. That should be a half ounce. Half ounce of vodka. Let's get busy. This is gonna be fucking disgusting. Ooh, this might be the perfect amount. It's a little short. Oh, fuck it, we'll take it. Don't worry. Just carpet. So it can soak up all the fucking liquor smell and stay there for years to come. One splash of 7-Up or Sprite. Three, four ounces of triple sec. Let me put that in first before I put in this crazy shit you're talking about. Let me at least put like a napkin up here. You know what I mean? It's a little cute, right? Three quarter of triple sec. Pop that in there, yes sir. And a splash of Sprite. Splashed. I've probably more than a splash. <laughs> you know, so far for all the videos I've done, this is probably the cleanest start to one so far, where like I got like seven different ingredients and I made a fucking drink. Any bars I in nearby? What's going on? Let's mix this up as one does. Okay, let's give it a try. Bite of the iguana, suggested by Creep. <sighs> let's do this. I kind of got high hopes for this, I'll be honest. Even though it's kind of a hodgepodge of shit. Ooh, smell, ooh, it smells fire. It smells great. That's pretty damn good. That is a tasty, tasty fucking drink, creep. Mmm. Mm. That's so interesting. I mostly smell the tequila in there. I, I like the smell of tequila, mix it kind of like in a paloma form. I really like that smell. This is almost like refreshing. It's like I'm drinking a fucking prime right now. What do you think, Logan Paul? About the same? It's a fucking nine out of 10 right there. I feel like it could use like a, like a tiny little extra pizzazz, but that's me going complete luxury mode, right? Like a nice little splash of something, a nice little topping, something fucking cute on top, a little party hat right here. Delicious, this is great. What a phenomenal start to this video. We're doing great so far. I'm so proud of us. I'm gonna put that drink on the side and we're gonna keep it going, baby. See if we can keep the good times rolling. Okay, so this one's interesting. This one's asking for a martini rimmed glass, which I don't fucking have. Should I just be an asshole and grab a wine glass? I'm gonna do that. You guys don't realize this, but it's kind of lonely in these YouTube videos, you know? Like sometimes I just want to ask you guys a question, but it's like, I gotta wait like a week before you guys answer. It's sad. You guys never, you guys never feel bad for me? <laughs> I have a wine glass for a martini. <laughs> now, let's do this. So this is called the Melted Witch, suggested by Valentin Lopez. I'm put some fucking ice in this wine glass. Already making mistakes, beautiful. We're gonna go real fucking X Games mode right now, baby. We're really fucking testing my limits here, huh? Okay, so that's gonna be two ounces of tequila. We're gonna go back to the tapatio here, baby. Two ounces of tequila. So we're gonna go ahead and get that fucking going here. Hello, hi. Pop that in, good sir. And then we're gonna go for a half ounce of triple sec. Pop that in there, yes sir. And then we're gonna go for one ounce of lime juice. Okay, that one's gonna be a bit more interesting. Let me get a lime. I have fresh limes. Once again, uh, <laughs> picking up my boy, Lucas Assis. If you don't know who the fuck that is, I did an interview with a tequila expert on the second channel, Mr. G-Dubs, by the way, uh, that you're watching this on. And uh, I just asked him a bunch of questions because I am fascinated with the life of a quote unquote tequila snob, you know? Uh, we, we talked about that nickname, don't worry, I'm not offending him. But uh, yeah, yeah, he gave, me, he gave me the lowdown on a few things. And one of his prime rules, always squeeze your fucking citrus don't ever fucking get the pre-made shit which i think i actually did i used the pre-made shit on the first episode of this so i pretty much already disrespected the fuck out of him but after he told me that i no longer did that because i couldn't he was such a nice guy there's no way i could be like yeah well go fuck yourself honestly he's right because the taste difference is monumental so we need an ounce correct ounce of lime juice oh look at that look at that bounce baby oh yeah yeah Love when you don't go in the fucking thing I'm aiming for. It's crazy. Sorry, I got some really fat, obnoxious limes, so that's why this is gonna be a bit of a process here. Let me squeeze out a little gentler here. Ooh, it is going fucking everywhere. Okay, can you at least stay on the napkin, sir? Oh, yeah. Ooh, okay, hold on, that's the strap. You gotta kind of release some pressure. And then shit gets popping. All right, I think I forgot to do that on the first one, so I kind of fucking missed out on that. Have patience with me, guys, okay? It only makes sense, the more videos I do of this, the better I should get, right? Or at least the fucking uh, less idiotic choices I should make, correct? I might cut my finger off, in all fairness. 
Give this a squeeze of Rooney here. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Okay, I'm still short. If I would have let myself get the other juices in that other one, I think I would have been fine. Uh, I'll be honest, chat. I'll call you chat. The old me would have not gone back to really fill this to the top. You know, I care about the integrity of these drinks. I really do. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm getting a fucking ounce. Look at the viscosity, guys. That's definitely not the correct word, but I'm gonna say it anyways, because some idiots will think it is. They'll be like, wow, dude, you're smart. And I'll be like, yeah, you know, it's just another Wednesday. One ounce of lime juice going in, baby. What else we got? One ounce of Midori melon liqueur. I actually found this shit. I thought this thing was not gonna exist, but it totally fucking does. Uh, another little story from the liquor depot. When the guy was scanning this, he was like, Midori? Didn't even think we had this anymore. So I don't know if this is like some old school shit or it's just not popular at all, but uh, my man was tripping. And he looked like he worked there for like 47 years. So the fact that he didn't know that this was on the shelves, shock. One ounce of this. Ooh, this is a tough bitch. All right, one ounce of Midori Melon Liqueur. And shake everything in a shaker. Serve in a martini rim glass. I'm not gonna fucking rim the thing with black salt, because I'm just not gonna fucking do it. Sorry, that may ruin the integrity of the drink. I know I just talked about that, but uh, there's just certain things I just don't give a fuck about. Wait, why would I mix this? Okay, stupid question. Might be a stupid question. I don't think I've ever seen someone shake a drink without ice in it. Yeah, I feel like I've never seen someone just shake something and I just hear fucking liquid. Am I bugging? I might be, I'm gonna put a little bit of ice. I know it's not in the instructions. I'm being a very bad boy. I'm gonna put, I know I'm probably not supposed to do this and I'm probably ruining the drink. But like, I've never heard people shake something without hearing like ice fucking clash. So make sure you get that shit. Please tell me this is put together. They always do like the cool thing where they're like, oh, fucking get the air pocket out. How the fuck do they do that? Oh yeah, they're good. They like beat the shit out of this thing. Huh, fuck. Okay, there you go. That was kind of what I was going for. I felt like I was just like spanking this fucking thing for a bit. So this? Okay, so that didn't do what I wanted it to do. Okay, I wasn't supposed to put any of the fucking ice I had in there. I still don't know this, guys, okay? I didn't take any fucking online bartending classes. I only watched Bar Rescue for like a couple seasons. Shut it down! You can only pick up so much. If this is incorrect, this is incorrect, my fucking bad, all right? This is The Melted Witch by Valentin Lopez. I may have fucked it up. Don't have a rim glass. Now I have a wine glass for martini glass, but, uh... Hey, well, that's a stronger drink. Wait, what the fuck did I put in there? Oh, the tequila. That's what I'm drinking. And probably that Midori. Yeah, the, the... First of all, beautiful color. I think we can all agree on that. In a martini glass, this would look really nice. In this wine glass, it looks like I have like a goblet uh, for Hocus Pocus 3. You taste the tequila, there's a lot of bitterness in here. It's almost like there was too much lime. That or I, like I missed something else. It's a bit too bitter. The more and more drinks you take of it, the more and more you realize you're just like squeezing a lime in your mouth. It's a bit too much for me. I would have taken a bit less lime on this. I understand that maybe the drink would be a bit more fucking strong if I didn't put in that lime. Totally understand that. And I know some people really like fucking lime, you know? They'll fucking do the steel thing, squeeze it in their eyes and then put it in their mouth. It'd be like, this is the most delicious thing ever. Me, I'm not a huge fan. I'm gonna give this one, ooh, yeah. The score keeps going lower and lower. I should stop taking drinks. I'm gonna give that a four out of 10. It's got a great presentation. It'll look great in a martini glass. Maybe being rimmed with salt will counteract this disgusting bitterness that I have. Totally fair. What it is right now, it's a four out of 10. Oh yeah, this fucking, oh, this bodies it with the swiftness. This might go to 10 out of 10. After following that fucking thing up, that is tasty, tasty. Let's continue. Let me get this out of the way because I'm not going to continue drinking this because fucking gross. One recording change late here. Yeah. All right, we're back. Did you guys buy the merch yet? Viz.tv slash chapter one. That's crazy. You haven't? That's wild. <clears throat> all right. We are on a fucking roll. We're doing pretty good so far. Ooh, this is just, this is just all slimy here. <laughs> it is not a good fucking time. Alcatran said two five hour energies and a shot of Hennessy. Your pressure will never be the same. I kind of want to live another like minimum 10 years in all fairness. I hope that's not asking too much. This one sounds doable, but I don't know if it's a troll. It doesn't give it a name and his name is It's Batman Son. Half ounce of pickle juice, one ounce of Mountain Dew, half ounce of lemon juice, one ounce of vodka. 
Do I make that? Cause I have pickle juice. I have to go upstairs to grab it, which is kind of the only cringe thing about it. Uh, yeah, fuck it, why not? Tis the season, right? Let me go grab my pickle juice, it's upstairs. Ooh, I might fuck up one of these pickles actually. Who's been eating? Yo, someone's been drinking my pickle juice. Those fucking fiends. I know I didn't eat these. Who was destroying my, oh, we got a pickle fiend in the loose. Ugh. Oh yeah, those smell like some fucking pickles to me, baby. Those pickles taste fucking great. That's how you know I'm fucked. When I'm like, yo, this flaccid pickle just hit, bro. I don't tell you. This one seems like a much smaller drink, so let me take one of these cute little glasses here. Let me grab some ice. Pop it on there. We got half an ounce of pickle juice, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it. Half an ounce of pickle juice. Bang, bang, I like pickle juice, so I understand if you do not like pickle juice, this probably seems fucking gross to you. One ounce of Mountain Dew. I have a fucking big buckarooski of Mountain Dew. One ounce, you say? Say fucking less, my guy. One ounce of Mountain Dew. There you go. One ounce of Mountain Dew. Half ounce of lemon juice. So let me fucking, let me get some fresh. Hey, can you shut the fuck up? I was eavesdropping your conversation, and it sounded like you were talking about this. Fuck off. Half ounce of lemon juice, right? This bad boy should suffice here. Oh man, I am making a fucking mess. My poor merch, fucking destroyed. Fucking, I got some residue over here. Let me throw that in there. That's the fucking good stuff. Half ounce of lemon juice. One ounce of vodka, which I just finished. There's an empty bottle over there. There's a fucking corpse on the ground over there. That's one ounce of vodka. Let's mix this shit. This is the No Name by It's Batman's Son. Smell-wise, the lemon is very overpowering with a hint of pickle, which is, like, smell-wise, fucking disgusting. But, uh, fuck it. Listen, I like pickle juice as much as the next guy, genuinely. Like, uh, you get me some pickleback shots at the bar, like, we're, we're having a good time. We're bonding. But I'm about pickle juice in a mixed drink. It's not tickling my pickle right now. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. It just tastes like I'm drinking pickle juice and lemon, which is kind of what the fuck I'm actually drinking. The Mountain Dew is non-existent. Doesn't taste like there's a soda in here. You can't taste the vodka because you have two of like the strongest cover-ups in the game, lemon, and fucking pickle juice. So, you know, you could add fucking Chemical X in here and I wouldn't be able to taste it. This is, uh, it's, yeah, sure, it's smooth, it's easy to drink, I'm sure it could sneak up on you, but I'm gonna give this like a two out of 10, Batman son. This is not, this is not the move. I do not like this. Why have all my drinks been like green? Kinda quirky. I'm mad I went upstairs to grab pickles for that, to be honest. No offense, but. I, in hindsight, I would have not done that. Just like I'm just slamming pickle juice. And like if I'm not in the mindset to just be slamming pickle juice, then I don't like slamming pickle juice. You know what I mean? You guys know what I mean. It's like, you know, unless I'm aware that I'm about to do crack, I'm not gonna enjoy doing crack. You get what I'm saying. Starting to hit. All right, let's keep moving here. Oh, fucking old reliable, man. Yo, fucking shout out Creep, man. She popped off with that one. So Chris Schlicht said it's called applesauce. Equal parts Goldschlager, green apple, schnapps, and pineapple juice. Not really Halloween themed, but sort of seasonal. It was my go-to shot when I played Dart League. Dart League, huh? Interesting, that sounds fun. You a Midwest boy? That's the only place I would think there's a fucking Dart League, to be honest. I have a shot glass. I'll be honest, I don't know what fucking one part asshole, two part dick mean, because I thought I did, but then I read a comment where they were like, oh, this fucking idiot thinks that's what this means, and I was like, oh, okay, I just, I guess, I guess I'm out of the loop on that super sick bartender lore. So, I'm gonna do this the way I think I'm gonna do this. Meaning, I'll probably put a, what, like a half ounce of everything? I think that's what I'm gonna do. So, Goldschlager, which I purchased, Little fun fact for you guys. There's gold in Goldschlager, but second fun fact, my 21st birthday, I was gifted a bottle of Goldschlager by one of my close friends, and uh, I gave a birthday speech, and I think I thanked everyone there. A lot of people I, I cared about very much there, and were having a good time. And after I finished the speech, I then slammed a good fat chuggy wuggy of this. Too much for a very delicate, petite 21 year old boyo like myself. Yeah, it was lights out after that. <laughs> that was a mistake. I wish I could have enjoyed more of my 21st birthday. Yeah, Goatschlager will forever be known as the culprit behind me fucking passing out of my bed and dying. 
So that, okay, so half ounce actually takes up too much of that. It makes sense to have the most gold schlager in here, right? So maybe put a little less of the green apple schnapps or sour apple. I don't know if they're the same thing. I don't fucking know. I didn't see green apple. I just saw sour apple everywhere. So that's what the fuck I'm putting in. Pineapple juice. We're just gonna fucking top it off. Uh oh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I obviously can't fucking mix that. I'm just gonna leave it as is. It's a cool little cloudy drink. It looks like someone nutted in water, which is uh very seasonal, in my opinion. Super fun. Calls it applesauce. Maybe if I mix it, it'll not look like fucking jizz in water. Nope. That looks like cloudy jizz water to me. Okay, so that's not, that's not gonna change. Oh, you meant apple sauce. I, yo, my guy. Yeah, okay, you playing a different type of dart league, guys. Okay. All right, well, cheers to you, Chris. Here's to your applesauce drink. What if Goldschlager like triggers my fucking PTSD and I just fucking collapse right now? Be great content. Whoa! That would actually be a thousand times better if I had cold Goldschlager, which I do not. That's a fun little shot. I actually don't have an issue with that. You get a lot of Goldschlager in that bitch, and then you get the, the green apple, or the sour apple more so, gives it that real kind of backing. And the pineapple juice is kind of like the friend just kind of holding them together and being like, I'm gonna make sure this kind of works. That's really it. If that was cold, be a way better fucking shot. Warm, I'm gonna keep it real, my guy. That's a five out of 10. But cold, I guarantee that's a, that could be a seven and a half shot out of 10. I don't want to disrespect you like that, Chris, but what I drank sucked, kind of. <laughs> but uh, I, I know there's potential there for sure. Okay, Spooky Tony said, toffee slash caramel flavored vodka, two shots. An appetizer, can use apple juice, but appetizer is better. I could not find appetizer. I've never even heard of that in my fucking life. To fill the rest of the glass. Tastes like a toffee apple, and you can't taste the alcohol. That's the only reason I wanted to make this fucking drink, because I love that claim when you guys write it down. You can't taste the booze at all. Because every time it's been said, it's been a fucking lie. So I'm excited. Let's check it out, Spooky Tony. Two shots of vodka. I don't want to waste a huge glass on this, even though that's probably what you mean. I'm just going to grab one of these glasses here. I'm going to grab some Icy YC here, baby. I got this fucking toffee right here. I got Kissed Caramel by Smirnoff. An absolute fucking beaut. So I'm gonna need two of those bad boys. Okay, spicy, spicy. So let's put in this caramel. It's kind of a lot. That's one shot. Okay, maybe I do need the whole glass. I have a, a little feeling that I might taste the booze in this one, Tony. I'll keep it real with you on this one. I disrespected you on this one, but uh, I have limited glasses, so kind of have to tough this one out. And I'm not using appetizer mm -hmm. either, so I'm definitely letting you down on this one. But I spent money on fucking apple juice, and I fucking don't really care for apple juice. Apple juice. I was able to get a decent one in there, but for what I put in there in terms of liquor, that'd be kind of a fucking yikes, but uh, we'll see what we can do with this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's see if Spooky Tony is a dirty, stinky liar, or if she has suggested the best fucking drink I've ever had. I, I would probably believe her claim if I had a full glass, but, but I'm not using that, so. It doesn't have a name, but it's just Toffee or uh, caramel vodka and fucking apple juice. It's really all it is. It smells fucking gross. <sighs> Cheers. Okay, it does taste like a caramel apple. That's kind of cool, actually. You said toffee, but I don't know what the fuck toffee is. That's like fucking uh, plutonium to me. That's basically what you should say. What's the thing in Wakanda? Vibranium? Yeah, it's, you might as well have said that. That's a fun little drink. Even with the small glass, the apple juice does a really, really good job of fucking masking the booze in there. And keep in mind, I mean, I showed you guys the glass. It was basically like half booze. Yeah, if you like this really sweet shit, I may be the wrong fucking uh, participant for fall themed stuff. Cause like a lot of it involved like cider and cinnamon sticks. And like, I don't really give a fuck about that in my drinks. So I'm not really the guy to be like, this is disgusting. Don't take my fucking word for it. It's just not my thing. I'll make that very apparent. But yeah, this is a fun drink. Someone's chilling outside by a campfire. Leaves are on the ground. People are reminiscing about the good old days. Someone's got a, a nice little cup of this. I mean, it's a good fucking time. I'm with you. I'll join you on this. I'll cheers you with this, of course. It's a fun little drink.
I'll give you a six and a half out of okay. 10 on this one, Tony. Very much respect. It is kind of cool because I think the apple juice is really powerful. I get the vodka, it hits me and it's almost like, ooh, but like the apple juice then swivels in and it's like, oh no, I got you daddy. And then it immediately hugs me. And it's like, it's okay. And I'm like, ooh, yeah, no. Yeah, that was delicious. Like, I don't want it because the sweetness grosses me out, but like, that's that's how much you should know that I'm respecting this drink. Giving it a six and a half out of 10 and I don't even like this shit. So, respect. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I'm just kind of happy everything is going like relatively smooth in this one. Like when I, when I fuck up and everything and have all those issues, yeah, it's like fun content, but like this is what I really wanted to do at the end of the day was like actually like test out your drinks, give you a real ratings and just kind of hopefully discover some new stuff that, you know, maybe one day I'm chilling. I'm like, oh, fuck it, let me whip this up. Or I have a crowd and I'm like, yo guys, let me show you this drink. I found out shit's fire. But anywho, uh, let's keep taking a gander here. All right, so this next suggestion is from Tatiana. She said, not Halloween, but fall. Angry Orchard with a shot of Fireball. I haven't had it in years, so I can't vouch for it now. Ha ha, ha ha, ha. Fun fact, I made this drink in one of my last ones, but I like Tatiana and Zach a lot. They're, they're very cool, and, I, and I've known them, especially Zach, for a really long time, so I'm still gonna make it anyways. And I bought Angry Orchard, so there's no way I'm not fucking using it, so let me go grab a fucking Angry Orchard real quick. I'm pretty sure I brought this up in the last fucking video, but man, dude, these Angry Orchards are a hundred and 80 calories a pot, man. Once you start becoming a bit more conscious on calories, which like, obviously for this video, I'm fucking my body, right? But once you start becoming more conscious on this shit, it's the fucking worst. I feel like you can't enjoy anything anymore. I like, uh, when I first started drinking, I drank hard ciders. That was my thing, right? Because depending who you are, you go through like all the intro drinks. And I was like, oh, this is booze? Bro, this tastes delicious. It's apple juice. But like, you don't realize you're fucking popping 200 calories each fucking one, you know? you're taking down it this is twist off right well this is not fucking twist off hold on i have a <sighs> okay i got that off angry orchard and fireball even though i did it already and i'm pretty sure i didn't fucking like it dr pepper and fireball sounds like shit that's bad two out of ten uh out of a courtesy for uh tatiana and the zach mamba <laughs> yeah shout out mine dude <laughs> i'm gonna make it anyways uh i'll put it in this fucking Put it in this fucking uh, cute little wine glass over here. Let me put some ice in it, actually. I don't think I put ice in the last one, to be honest. Maybe that's why it tasted like shit. See, here's the thing, right? If anybody else asked, I would just skip over it. I wouldn't even say anything. Like, I literally made this purchase just for this comment. I fucking hate Fireball. I just hate Fireball. This motherfucker's really asking for Fireball. Intro drinks, right? You drink shots of Fireball. Oh my God, yo, this is crazy. Then when you grow up, you realize this is fucking disgusting. This is gross. And if you haven't gotten to that point, I apologize because I feel bad for your gut. It doesn't taste good. It hurts your insides. If you want to get fucked up off it, you have to drink so much that your insides are just torn. Like, why would you want this? It's disgusting. I'm sorry. If you're, if you're a big fan of Fireball, hey, fucking good job, but like, disgusting. So she did not say equal parts. So I'm gonna assume she means even before I made the video last time where I tried this, I think I made it equal parts in the last video like a moron, but uh, I was introduced beforehand. I, I was introduced to this beforehand. It was called Angry Balls. I'll drink it anyways. Here's to you guys, cheers. Yeah. Thankfully, I put enough Angry Orchard in there where I don't have to really, really taste the Fireball. I still get that little stank, right? I still get that little big red stank that the Fireball's got in the back of my tongue, and it's just taunting me back there. And it's like, I made it in, bitch. What are you gonna do about it? Sure, you snuck me in with this pussy, but the pussy being Angry Orchard. They, they've infiltrated. Fireball has made its mark. Fucking uh, Neil Armstrong. Flag on the moon. Like, I'd just rather drink Angry Orchard. Fucking some nice apple juice for a good time. I fucking hate Fireball. I'm sorry, Tatiana, I appreciate the suggestion, but I also appreciate that you at least didn't stand by it and you were like, I haven't had it in fucking 32 years, but yeah, I think when I was 16, it was super good. I'm gonna give that like a one out of 10. It just goes Fireball, like literally. It's so, so, so bad. But we made the drink. We're cruising. The next suggestion comes from 24-7 Spirit Halloween in an abandoned Sears. That's their name with pumpkin emojis on both sides. <clears throat> I just burnt pickle juice. Oh my God, sh Censor me saying that because YouTube's been trying me. They've been like, did you allude to this thing that we don't really like? Demonetized. You wanted to get paid this month? 
pussy? Yeah, go back to your warehouse job if you want consistent pay. That's how you know the booze is starting to wear on me. I'm starting to complain about shit. That's crazy. Ah, what's going on, guys? What's up with you? <laughs> All right, let's make the Jekyll and Gin, man. Let's get to it. We're going Jekyll and Gin. For Gin, I've got some fucking Bombay because I recognize the name. I was like, that's kind of funny. Three ounces of gin. We are not fucking around, ladies and gentlemen. Two ounces of gin. And then we're gonna go with a whopping another one ounce of gin, ladies and gentlemen. That gin smell is, is tanking up the room right now. So I need a whopping half ounce of lemon juice. I'm gonna make sure we don't fuck this one up. We'll help put it over. Ooh, doggy, all righty then, all righty. Half ounce of lemon juice, thank you. What else we got? We got a teaspoon. I don't have a teaspoon measurement anywhere. So, we're gonna do what, uh, what the old school guys call it. We're gonna eyeball it. This is not open. Yeah, go ahead and cut that, editor. <laughs> no, I don't think I will. Okay, let's actually open this. Get that nice grenadine seal out of there. I feel like a teaspoon is nothing, right? But this is the Jekyll and Gin. We're just gonna put one little... That seems like a teaspoon, sure. Right, that seemed like a teaspoon? No? Right, go fuck yourself, how about that? Tonic water. Shit was expensive, by the way. So, this isn't the best fucking thing I've had in my life. I'm gonna be pissed. I don't know how much I was supposed to put in there, but I'm assuming I was just supposed to top it with that. But I don't want to put it all the way to the top, because I'd rather... Get a nice... Oh, yeah! Ooh, it's got that pink Starburst color, huh? Look at you! Look at you! What the fuck is this called? Jekyll and Gin! It smells just lemony as shit, honestly. Surprisingly. <laughs> just keep seeing, seeing me go back like I'm fucking railing lines right now. Yeah, I wish. Okay. Cheers! The Jekyll and Gin. Oh. A lot of lemon. This is the same reaction I had to the lime, where I was like, it's a little bit too much citrus. Half ounce of lemon juice. Put all the other measurements were correct. So what if I add a little bit more tonic water, maybe a bit more grenadine to kind of counteract that fucking lemon? Cause it's just, that lemon is too strong. Like I'm not really worried about the booze. It's just, it's just that huh, that fucking furball taste from the lemon. I think I'm just doing something wrong. But I don't want to keep stacking this. It feels like I'm licking the outer skin of a lemon. Maybe I just have really bad limes and lemons. That's why I'm just like, anything adding to it, just like, this is the fucking worst thing ever. Yeah, I'm not fucking with this Jekyll and Gin, man. Yeah, ooh. That's like a one and a half out of 10. I think, I think something, uh, I think there's trouble afoot with something, but it's just really fucking bitter, man. Holy shit. It is tough to stomach that. It's like, I'm just licking the outside of that lemon. Jeez. My God, I wish I had a better fucking drink here. Mm, well, was that was that heaven in a cup? What, is, what are you doing there? Heaven. I thought I just heard someone scream. I'm not gonna lie, it scared the fucking dog shit out of me. But we're not pussies, right? Okay, Sean Thompson said, here's a Ghostbuster themed ecto cooler, nerd. He said use rum, triple sack, Midori, sweet and sour. I have all this shit, so let's fucking do it. Let's fucking get busy, boy. Start with some beautiful ice. He also said best to use a light rum for color. I think I have Bacardi. Bacardi is rum, is it not? Who the fuck was drinking this? Someone was going nutty on this Bacardi. All right, let's see what's in here. Ghostbuster themed ecto cooler. Sounds really fucking cool. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go all right to invis.tv slash chapter one and get some brand new merch, are we not? Are we not? You're right. We're getting two ounces of Bacardi. Yes, sir. Bang. This fucking disgusting piece of shit. Get out of my sight. You're disgusting. Batarang, triple sack, two ounces. I'm gonna go with Midori, two ounces. Guess who's got fucking Midori ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Midori, two ounces. We're gonna go sweet and sour, one ounce. One ounce of sweet and sour. We're gonna pop that out. Simple syrup. Ladies and gentle, man. But if no one's picking up the reference, uh, I think I got that from Dark Knight. 
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I think I just realized that's where I use that reference, to be honest. Yeah, I need a charter. Everything's going like fairly well right now. I think we're on the verge of this going into full derail mode because of booze, because of messes, because of this phone dying. One ounce of lime juice. Okay. Fucking thing is just squirting from everywhere, man. I didn't get exactly a small lime piece, so it's just fucking. I think the lime juice is making the biggest fucking mess, to be honest. This is like the worst thing to fucking have here. This isn't an ounce exactly, it's a little short, but to be honest, everything with that has had a fucking ounce of lime juice has been fucking disgusting anyways. I'm perfectly okay with not including the full amount. Oh, lime juice topped with ginger ale. This is the drink, right? Let me drink this real quick. Yep, that's just as good as it fucking did the first time. Ginger ale. I don't fucking have that here. This might be the most smooth flowing drink making things. This might be the most fucked up I get. And I think it's because I pre-game this with two shotguns. Top of ginger ale. Wow. There we go. You wanted me to use a lighter rum for color? I did that. This is the Ghostbuster themed ecto cool. Okay, Sean? Sean! Sean! Ooh, smells very, very interesting. I won't give you that. Ooh. Now that is tasty, tasty. What the fuck was in that? Okay, so a lot of cover up for booze. I like the look. I know I've had a lot of green drinks. In comparison to the other green drinks I've had, this is the best tasting. If you're throwing like a Halloween party and for some reason you're a big fan of Ghostbusters, this would be a fucking cool drink to have out there. You know, maybe have like a fog machine behind it, make it look real fancy. I like that one. That's good stuff right there. This gets like a seven out of 10. You definitely taste the booze in that one. Nothing's really overpowering that drink. I think that's what I really like about it. There's so many flavors in here. They all just kind of end up blending together in the end to give you like something pretty fucking tolerable. It's not too sweet. It's not too strong. It's that thing where like, I know there's booze in here, but I can keep slamming these, you know, A-OK. -okay. The same way I kind of like my coffee where I'm like, I want to know there's coffee in here. It's the same way I like to drink my booze. I don't want to drink something so sweet to where like, dude, you can't even taste the booze. I want to be able to taste the booze. I want a little, ooh, yeah, it's got some coffee in there. You know, then I'm just really fucking eating a popsicle. And that sucks. You know, between this and bad content pong, I think this is the worst post video <laughs> like in terms of cleanup or for these types of videos i dread it especially because i'm usually drunk when i get to that point so that's not fun all right let's keep moving here maria has suggested bay of blood i like anything with a name to be honest like when it's themed like this i'm a sucker for anything that's got a name grenadine on the bottom pineapple juice mango juice blue curacao tequila or vodka it's called bay of blood i don't have measurements do what the heart tells me so that's gonna end in disaster. But here we go. I only have these types of glasses left, so we don't have a fucking choice on what we're doing here. Let's get some ice. It's a lot of ice. Nothing's gonna fucking fit in here. So we're gonna have to be a bit, a bit restrictive. So grenadine on the bottom. Got it. Pineapple juice. Got it. Mango juice. Actually, I don't have mango juice. I hope orange is a great replacement. Got it. <laughs> We got some kurosawi here, measuring with my heart as they told me to do. That's fine. Tequila or vodka? I feel like vodka is like the go-to with something like this. Tequila seems like a weird thing. Look how colorful this is. This is kind of cool. I mean, it looks like a, you know when you're painting in like school and they have like the little water cup on the side and like it just looks like fucking murky asshole. That's kind of what this drink looks like right now. So let's end with some vodka. I don't know how much that was. I don't know. I'm not a mixologist. It's called Bay of Blood. Funny enough, I probably shouldn't have mixed it because now it really looks like finger paint garbage. Um, I think the, the grenadine was supposed to stay on the bottom. That's why she said grenadine on the bottom. You didn't give clear instructions, Maria. Okay, so how much can you blame me here? Cheers. I feel like a, I just got punched in the left cheek just now. I feel like a, ooh, I'll be honest with you, chat. I'm starting to get a little sauced. <laughs> uh, this is what happens when you drink too much liquor in such a small amount of time. I've, I've read some comments in the past. We're really like, bro, how are you getting drunk? And it's like, dude, you realize I record this within the span of like, 
two hours or so, right? In a whole night of like five hours of drinking, yeah, you'll be fine taking sips of shit. But like when you're slamming all this different garbaggio in such a small period, like yeah, it's gonna hurt you. Tastes like a Malibu pineapple. And because of that, I'm gonna give it a zero, Maria. Granted, you called it Bay of Blood. I'm sure if I forced the grenadine to stay on the bottom, it'd have a different look. And aesthetic wise, it'd probably be a whole different thing, right? But taste wise, it tastes like a Malibu pineapple. So if I can achieve that with just two ingredients and not the fucking five you gave me, I would just rather do that. So that's why I'm gonna give this a zero. It's not that it tastes bad, like Malibu pineapple is fine. Now, granted, I also did not have the mango juice and I put in fucking orange juice. So I understand that also alters the results. Buy is taken into consideration, but I think the mango would have just made this a bit sweeter, but I still think it would have had that Malibu taste. So yeah, it's just kind of like a Malibu mix. And if you like that, I mean, this is your fucking drink, but me personally, you know, Malibu is also in like the realm of starter drinks where I'm like, you know, I'm fucking over it. What the fuck is this shit? I should probably finish these, huh? How drunk do you guys want me to get on camera? You guys care? I've had this since the beginning of the video, but ugh. it's funny. I was considering even recording this video tonight because I was like, man, it's getting kind of late. L let me just get some good night's rest and maybe I'll do it tomorrow. But I, then I went into like grind set mode and I was like, tomorrow? What, are you going to waste a day doing nothing? You're not going to be able to sleep anyways, you fucking idiot. You're going to spend four hours watching fucking garbage on YouTube when you could just be making your own content. And I was like, you know what? You're right, brain. You're smart as fuck. Anywho, I think I just accidentally scrolled up. <sighs> no, I didn't scroll up actually, I'm just drunk. <laughs> There's a thing here called Witch's Brew, a Halloween cocktail, but if I'm being honest, the only reason it's called a Halloween cocktail is it is because it has eye ice cubes. It's a super basic mix, vodka, pineapple juice, blue curacao. I'm not gonna make that because if I don't have the fucking fancy eye ice cubes, it's just gonna look like this. Who gives a fuck, right? Uh, okay, let's try this one because I bought it. So DMI has suggested a good pumpkin beer and orange juice, like a fall beer mosa. Things are not going well for me, which I thought was a really funny follow-up sentence. And that's the only reason why I obliged with this. I've actually had a beer mosa before. I was playing bags early with my buddies. And one of my buddies was like, yeah, you guys never had beer mosas. And he basically slammed like half the beer and then put in the other half as orange juice. And it was just, it was a fun bonding experience. I can't really complain too much. I'm not gonna waste a glass for this. This is how you know I'm fucked up. I was about to tell you guys to the camera, I don't have beer. <laughs> Because I was thinking about that time, and at that time I was drinking Bush Light for the thing. I have a pumpkin beer, and that's supposed to be the point, so that's what the fuck I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drink a bit of this, and then I'll put an orange juice in here. I don't wanna waste a glass on this. I'll be very honest with you, this is called Pumpkin Smasher. It's got a picture of Bigfoot. I'm not really a big fan of pumpkin flavored things. I don't hate it, so like I can totally tolerate it, but I'm not really a fan of it. But let me chug as much of this as I can. Well, here, here. I don't like pumpkin enough to be like, yo, this is super good. But if I liked pumpkin, dude, this would be fire. It's just a good beer with pumpkin. This fucking pumpkin smasher, big brewing, this is good shit. Like it, it was very smooth. It was very pumpkin-y. It did its fucking job. So respect to these idiots. I'm not crazy about uh, the fucking... Man, how does it feel watching someone's descent on camera? Is this content? Does this make you want to buy the merch? I feel like you forgot, even though I purposely hung it up like an asshole in the back. Invis.tv slash chapter one. Come on. Let me go grab something real quick. AKA, let me go throw up in the bathroom real quick. Opa, Gangnam style, Birmosa. Oh, by Gangnam Style. Okay, this is stop funneling the drink. Oh, no. Stop! Stop! Oh, by Gangnam Style. That was a good song, man. If you were fucking with Sly back in the day, I mean, I, I just think you're a liar, to be honest. I know if I try and mix this up right now, it's gonna explode, but I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> like an asshole. Oh, okay. That was fine. Cool, 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 cool. Sure, sure. Hey, Aki, let me get a fucking beer mosa in the fall the Aki way. Cheers, DMI. Pumpkin beer and orange juice, baby. Nothing like it. 
Yeah, I mean, that's tasty. It's so weird. I, I like don't believe I really like pumpkin flavoring like that, and I don't think I do. I haven't told you already, like just the beer alone was fine. With the orange juice, if you were in fall mode, you were outside with the boys, you guys got some hoodies on, maybe some comfortable ass fucking joggers. How, how could you fight this pumpkin beer mosa? Yeah, out of respect, I took a chug out of that. If people like pumpkin and they like beer, they'll fucking love this shit. Okay, but we should absolutely be getting to the end. Oh, fuck. We're not getting to the end. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna pause the video for this one. I'll be back.